Hey everybody, it's Derek and Lizzie, and we're back with the board game spotlight game night. Tonight we are going to play a little game called Guardians, Guardians Call. Call. Funny, called Guardians Call. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. This is a new bluffing uh, social party game from Druid City Games and designed by James Hudson. Uh, if you are a fan of games like Sheriff of Nottingham, then this is something that's probably going to interest you. Uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, th right? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely in the same wheelhouse. For sure. Um, if you are not good at bluffing, it's probably going to be a game that is not entirely suited for you, uh, but you can still get by because what I've noticed is that even if people are bad liars, you might be a good person that can read others. So maybe you can tell when somebody's trying to lie to you. Uh, and that way you can uh, score points uh, that way. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the game. Lizzie is going to describe um, what she's going to teach the game. And then we're going to jump in. A two-player game plays pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it put, plays two to four players. Oh, two to five players. Um, so we have this super cool uh, first-player marker miniature. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, look at that. This is a Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, so if you did not back the game on Kickstarter, you will not get this uh, first player marker. Um, these are the miniatures. These are pretty cool, right? Yeah, they're awesome. Pretty cool miniatures. I'm One Wilfred. Each of the characters. Right I'm there. Raven, the mage. Wilfrey, sorry, I said Wilfred. Wilfrey and Raven. So, all right, take it away. Okay, so there are six different kinds of cards and they each do something different. So as you can see here, we have a spell which act as the wild card. So you can add these to any other card in your tableau and it's gonna mimic that card. We have artifacts. Artifacts, when you have at least three in front of you, you can discard those three to get a treasure card. Well, you can um, draw two treasure cards and then you can pick one to keep. And those are gonna have special bonuses or abilities and things. You have villagers. Villagers let you move up the castle track and see, as you can see at the 5, 10, and 15 mark, the first person there is going to earn victory points and the person who is the farthest along at the end will get 10, second furthest will get 5. We also have weapons, so the person with the most weapons at the end of the game gets 10. And then there are um, curses, which are negative. You don't want to end up with curses, and they can only be bluffed. When you have them in your hand, you have to lie to get rid of them. And then there are shields. So shields, the more you have, the more points there were. So one is worth three, two is worth six, and so on. So the more you can get, the better it's going to be for you. You're going to start the game. You have five cards out here, and you have the deck of the Guardian's Call cards. Yep. You are going to draw up to six. You can stop at any point, but once you stop, you have to... Um, take any amount and bluff or tell the truth. You may only use the same card. So I yep. can't combine a weapon and a villager. So If I have three villagers in my hands, I can say, you know, I'm going to trade you three artifacts, but I can never say I'm going to give you two in one of something. Right. If you have a curse, again, it has to be bluffed. You can never say I'm giving you curses. Right. So like in this instance here in the market, we have two villagers. If you wanted to offer... A set together you would have to offer these two villagers but mm -hmm. you could lie about what they are mm -hmm. you couldn't do like a villager and a weapon combination mm -hmm. so that's kind of worth it, it it goes away from uh sheriff of nottingham in mm -hmm. the sense that in this game you have to bluff sets of cards that mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. you know in sheriff of nottingham you're just kind of throwing stuff into your bag mm -hmm. and it doesn't all have to be the same you can do whatever you want um yeah. in this case there's a lot more strategy mm -hmm. involved um, and people can see what you're picking up and like, well, someone just took those two villagers and they're yeah. offering me two cards. I yeah. know they have two villagers, but do they have two <laughs> artifacts? James, James in the comments and he says, lie, such an ugly word. We like to say outthink your opponent. So that's fair. So outthink or, or, uh, kind of be a little sly or mischievous to your opponents. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a review copy of the game. So we just want to say thanks to James and Druid City Games for providing this. Um, I have liked this game ever since we previewed it. Mm -hmm. Um, like when we, what was it like over a year and a half ago, about a year ago, like something like that. Last fall. We previewed it and absolutely loved it, especially mm -hmm. for the bluffing uh, aspect. But because it's a far more strategic game mm -hmm. than Sheriff of Nottingham, I love Sheriff of Nottingham, but in this one, you, you know, in Sheriff, you can kind of like, oh, you know, here, here's the Sheriff. You can give <laughs> here, him like, just give him a bunch just of money, just give don't, him a bunch of money, leave me alone, and completely appease him. But in this one, it's all about the bluff. Mm -hmm. 
you live and you die by the bluff. Um, and it is a lot of fun. So did you talk about the castle track with the villagers? I did. Okay. Um, in the deck over here, mm -hmm. we have uh, the council and the war card. Mm -hmm. Now, both of these cards are going to be um, in the deck. And when we draw the council card, we're going to have scoring opportunities. Mm -hmm. So did you talk about these already? I have not yet. Okay. So we have two council cards up. So when the council card is drawn, that's when we're going to score for these two cards. So the Path of Peace says you want to have fewer weapons than each neighbor in your tableau. Mm -hmm. So I want to have less weapons than Lizzie. She wants to have less than me. And then if you do, whoever has this is going to score five points. The Focused Preparation have only two types of Guardian cards. So that is basically a weapon villager combination. So basically just any two combination of cards. Um, and then you have the Strength of Steel, which is going to activate when the War card is revealed. End game. And that's the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the game, you want to have the fewest spells of all players in your tableau. And if you do, you get five points for it. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, each time the Council and the War card are drawn, you're going to score in the castle. So the first player is going to score 10, mm -hmm. and then the second player is going to score five. Um... If you lose, so if I say, Derek, these are two villagers, he says, yeah, they are, but they turn out not to be, he still walks away with a coin. Whenever you lose, you always get a coin. So you can use coins, you can spend three to draw something from um, the market row and put it into your tableau. You can yes. also spend five yes. to discard a curse. Yeah, so t to take a curse out of the game. You mm -hmm. actually get five points for doing that, too. Yes. So five coins, five points, mm -hmm. and you get rid of a curse that somebody might try to use against mm -hmm. you. So yes. there's that. It's Which is definitely nice. worth remembering. Okay, so James says his money's on me because of the bluffing. I am pretty good at bluffing games, so I will take that as a compliment. Uh, and I also um, demo this a lot at the Skybound booth. It's kind of like one of the ones I do. Lizzie's like, I'll go do Sorcerer City and, and you go Grim do the Forest. Guardians and you go do Guardians Call. I'll do Tidal Blades. Well, that's new. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, James, yeah, James is absolutely correct. Two-player game like this, it's cat and mouse. Mm -hmm. It's tit for tat. You're trying to just try to one-up each other mm -hmm. the rest of the game, mm -hmm. uh, essentially. So, okay, that's enough talking. The game is super simple. We're going to dive in. I have the super sweet uh, first-player miniature, Team Derek, rocking out. So let's go. Okay. I am going to openly let Lizzie watch me draw two villagers for no reason. And then I'm going to draw. You do not have to go up to six. You may go up to six. I know, I know. But okay. I want to take one off the top okay. to see what happens. Okay. Pretty good. All right. And one thing to note. When you play with more players, you're going to have these, um, yeah. these little... Uh, Player tokens. player tokens. When you make a a uh, an offer to another to that player, you, flip you actually it flip over. it over. So you can't keep picking on the same person, which is awesome. Yes. Like So there are some for each player. So in a five player game, you're gonna have yeah. four different tokens in front of you with all the different players on them. And as soon as you trade with that person, you flip it over, and it's not yep. until you have traded with every single person that you can reflip them all and you have an open market again. Yep. For sure, and I really, Which really is like amazing. that. Amazing. Really yeah, enjoy so that. So everyone can't keep picking on you. But pick I say on you that for one round, and then they have to pick on someone else. <laughs> I say that because in a two-player game, I'm just we're gonna pick on each other the whole game <laughs> because there's no there's no tokens. It's not picking on me. Uh, it's not picking on you. All right, Lizzie. There's a Liar. villager. What? I didn't even. You didn't even hear what I said. It's mine. You didn't even Here's a hear coin. what I said. You said it was a villager, and I said no. <laughs> All right, so Lizzie got an artifact. I got my coin, and okay. let's refill the market for you. Oh, oh double curse. Oh, snap. Whoa. Ooh. Is she going to draw them? That is the question. She did not. Wow, you didn't go for anything in the market? I'm not letting what you know anything this? I have. What is the? What are these shenanigans? <sighs> Here, we should... Move these up a little bit. Maybe see if people can watch what we're passing. Two villagers. Two villagers. I will accept your two villagers. Too bad they're weapons. <laughs> did you talk coin. about? Did you talk? Hey, I'll take coins all day. Did you talk about the uh, affinity 
Each player has an affinity for a no. certain type. Yes. Uh, I want to gain shields, and Lizzie wants to gain spells. Each time you gain a card of your type, you, you get, get a, a coin. coin. Yeah. So I inherently want to bluff a lot of shields to try to get points for them mm -hmm. uh, in coins. Which means every time he says, hey, look, I got a spell for you, I'm going to be like, oh, really? <laughs> Also because they're wild, so it's not like you want to be giving those away. Uh, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to draw one off the top. Are you? I am. No, James, you don't have to change your pick. You do not have to change your pick. Um, two artifacts. No. Are you just going to say no to everything I say? Fine. I... Are you just going to try and lie to me every time? <sighs> Hold on. Still my turn. I'm going to spend three... To straight up uh, take this artifact okay. and add it to my tableau. Okay. Dang, Gina. So if you're going to Pack South this weekend, uh, go by the Skybound booth to do a demo of this. Um, two villagers. Two villagers. Um. Hmm. Two villagers. I will accept your two villagers. Okay. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Two villagers! Alright, so uh, I get to go immediately move up two. Boom, boom. And I am in the castle. Alright, I am going to draw um, two spells. Nope, they don't refill. Oh, that. no, you're right. It does not. Nope. Oh, not that. Yeah, just put it back in. Um, two weapons. No. I am on the villager track as well. <laughs> Those are my villagers. Give them okay. back. Actually, you can't land on me. You leapfrog. Anytime you would land in a space that's occupied by another player, you move uh, to the next one. Nice. Not nice for me. It's nice for me, though. Oh, now Derek Ryder's calling me a liar. Derek, get out of here, man. You Derek's have to stick together. Meh. Ah. Three artifacts. <sighs> Three artifacts. Three artifacts. Hmm. Three artifacts. No, I don't believe you. Dang! You had three artifacts? I did. Oh, Derek called my weak bluff. <laughs> so give me another coin. Actually, I get two coins because you took my villagers and I you just took those from me. Oh, you got Here, you want me to put the coins next to you? <laughs> oh, oh, I never spent my three earlier, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. I took the artifact. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to give me the coins because I'm going to need them? I think Is that it'll what you're be saying? easier. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Two shields. Yes. Hey, I was right. What is going on? Are you like peeking at my cards? I have cards? not seen your cards at all. No. What is going on? No. Nope. This is crazy. Give me another coin. Holy cow. <laughs> James says deep down he knew better. You did, man. I'm telling you, get her on Guardians Call this weekend at PAX South. Like, this is who you need demoing the game. Two Goodness spells. gracious. Two spells. I will accept your two spells. Give me a coin. Bam! Here's your coin. Now, when you gain spells, um, they have to be given to a... Uh, you can create your own row hoping to add another card type to it. Or you can right. add it to something that is already there. Or you can also split them up so you can make one an artifact and one a villager. Correct. Um, but I'm actually going to make them double artifacts right now. Okay. Um, it's still my turn. I can trade in three artifacts. You may turn in three artifacts. And what is that going to do? You it's draw... Give me two treasure cards. Two treasures for the lady. Just put those over there. <laughs> Let's see, 604, Derek's out. James, I think I've won more than seven I'm going games. to do the Beacon of Aid, and I'm going to advance two spaces on the castle track. Dang. Which gives me five points, in yes, addition to the five points I get from this Yep, card. just keep that to yourself. I know, I'm just So here's the, uh, here's the treasure that Lizzie uh, was able to draw. The Beacon of Aid. Gondor calls for aid. 
What'd you give up? Helm of safety. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go for it, babe. I am going to go for it. Um, I'm going to draw a weapon. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to draw a spell. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to offer you a weapon. No. It's a villager! What is happening? Dude. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's a lot of curses. It is a lot of curses. I get a coin. Mm -hmm. Can I buy a curse to my own tableau? That's how I feel right now. I'm just going to straight up buy a curse. <laughs> Why? Because I'm just doing so bad. But you would have to discard one Go of ahead. your cards. Uh, I'm actually going to turn in my artifacts. Okay. See what I got here. All right. So I am going to draw two treasures for myself. And I have the Wishing Well. Name a guardian type. Uh, card type, reveal the top card of the Guardian deck if it matches, add it, or the Beacon of Aid. Um, advance two spaces on the castle track. I think I'm going to try to keep up with you in the castle track. So I'm going to go boop, boop, like that. Boop, boop? Yeah, boop, boop. That's what he makes going down the halls. My turn? Uh, yes, it is your turn. It is your turn. One spell. A spell? Mm -hmm. I will accept your spell. Cursed you. <laughs> when did you draw a curse? You draw it off the top? Mm-hmm. All right. So now he has Dang. to discard one card from his tableau, his choice. Well, it looks like I'm getting rid of villagers, which bumps me back one. Yuck. I don't think I keep the curse. I think it just goes away. Ouch. That hurt. My soul. What else you got? That's my turn. Hmm... Oh, you know what? When I get cursed, I get a coin. So that's helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw these two curses. Nope, 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 oh, nope, you're nope. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. It's just my instinct. Oh, no, sorry. I can only draw one. And then I'm going to pay five to get rid of one of those curses so you don't draw it. Nice. I love it. Give me five points. You want to give me a five-pointer coin, please? Five points for getting rid of that curse. Mm -hmm. And I still need to make an offering. So here are two villagers. No. I. How are you doing this? I honestly have no idea what you're doing right now. Like, I don't even feel like I'm coin. not bluffing well. Like, I don't understand this. You are on like some other level. I have never seen you like this before. It's true. I'm normally You are horrible, horrible at, this game. at this game. She legit is so bad. So bad. What is going on? Oh my goodness. I'm getting rocked. Two shields. I will accept them. Okay. Yes, I get two coins. You don't Yeah, I, mean, I do, you do because you gave me my affinity. <laughs> All right, what you got? That's the end of my turn. All right. Well, I didn't know if you were using, going to use any... Uh... No. Not at this moment. Um... Good news for you is that you only have two types of guardian cards if we get to the council. That's true. If we get to the council, I'm going to be scoring those, uh, scoring those points for sure. I'm going to draw this artifact, and I'm going to draw... Let's see, that's five. I'm going to draw one off the top. Okay, and then I'm going to make an offering of you for an artifact. Yes. All I can do is shake my head. Okay. Are you done? Uh, am I done? Uh, yes, I'm finished. Okay. Yeah, this is at, like when you get four or five people around the table and you're playing this game, it becomes a riot. Um, because trying to figure out what you're trying to give to people also makes a big difference when you have other players around the table and you're not trying to feed those same players the same types of cards. Because you want to win um, either the villager race or the, the whoever's the most weapons in the game. So it's it's awesome. At, at more at like four or five players, it gets awesome. But I really like it at two, too. Two spells. Uh, two spells? 
Yes, I will accept your two spells. Give me a coin. Oh, that was your affinity too. I'm adding them to my villager track. And I'm gonna go up two, boom, boom. Uh, over on Twitch, what's going on, Molten Meeple? Hey guys, missed the beginning. Uh, so Lizzie is not bad at games. Uh, so they said getting that Lizzie's bad but destroying Derek. She just typically does not do this well at this game. Like this is not her forte. Um, okay, so it's my turn. It is. I'm going to draw this curse. And I'm going to offer you uh, a weapon. Yes. Nope. Mm. Not today. Finally got it through. And I leapfrog you. Okay. And I have four coins, which I'm not going to use, so go ahead. Okay. I'm going to spend five coins. Oh, you're getting rid of a curse? Get rid of a curse. I'm glad there's an extra one out and there I'm for me then. Five. And I will draw. Hey, Joe. One, Joe wants to know the difference between the Kickstarter retail. James replied, uh, the first player miniature. But here is the first player miniature for you to see right here. This is the first player mini. It's the only difference between the retail and the Kickstarter version. It's a pretty sweet looking miniature, though. Mm hmm. Okay, what are you offering? Three villagers. Three villagers? See, I don't like the game you're playing where you're, I don't know what you're drawing. <sighs> Three villagers. Strategy. Three villagers. Bubba, stop by and I'll teach you guardians call it Pack South. Hmm. Yeah, and you'll get your butt kicked. Oh, no, I'll just, I'll just show you'll them go how easy. to play. Oh, you're just going to well, show I'll them how to play? You're not, not going to play against them? Play. Uh, you, oh, you can watch the Love Thy Nerd uh, group. You all need to get a game of this at PAX South. Like, go play five players together. Oh, it'd be hilarious. Um, yeah, that'd be super cool. Um, oh, Josh is over on Twitch. Okay, nice. Yeah, He's got a new... the Molten Meeple. Of course what, it's Josh. What is this again? Three Villagers. Three Villagers? Would you give me three Villagers? You'd be crazy to give me three Villagers. But knowing if you got three Villagers, you would go much further up. Oh my gosh. Fine. I will accept your three villagers. There were three artifacts. Gah! I'm going to use three artifacts. Oh. I'm going to take the golden chest, which says the player with the fewest cards in their tableau other than you gains two coins. You gave me two coins? Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. Thank you. It's worth 10 points, though. <laughs> All right. Can you refill? All right. I'm going to draw off the top. I'm going to spend five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get rid of this curse for five points. And I'm going to offer to you two artifacts. You sure? Mm-hmm. Ah. So I get to pick something from. I tried tableau. to curse her, and she called my bluff. And discard it. Probably the shields. The spell. I'm gonna get rid of spell, which is a villager. What? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, it is a villager. Which takes you back one. Yep. Which means you leapfrog. Fair point. Okay. Fair you point. Done? Yeah. <gasps> the council has arrived. Dang! All right. Mm, I would have been ahead of you too. I needed those points. I chose. <sighs> okay, so I get ten points for I, being ahead. I get five. I think this is the first time I've actually like rage raging. I've never actually been this like upset that I don't know what you're doing to me. I don't know how you're doing it, but this is like you have like some. I just I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. Uh, all right, who has a fewer weapons? That would be you. me. So I get five points, please. And I only have two types. No, I have three types. Do you have more than that? I have four types. Okay. And then fewest spells. Nope, I that's war. Two, what? Oh, that is war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Okay, so right. these are 
I'm going to just put these off to the side with the council. <laughs> Yuri, just go away. Just turn around. You do not want to see this. Okay. This is horrible. My turn. This is the video to teach you how not to play Guardian's Call strategically. What do you like, mean how not to play? No, for me. Like, don't oh, watch no. me. Watch Lizzie. Did you seriously hit war? Yeah. Dang. Okay, so let me explain what happens. When you set up the game, you're going to take the war card and the council card. And you're going to shuffle them into two of the different... You separate the deck into four equal piles without the war and council card. Yes. You shuffle the war card into one set of four. And the bottom put... set. Yes. And, and then, then the you shuffle the council into the one that is on top of that. So there are two sets of four. Like. Yeah, you're always going to yeah. have a variable length of game. Yes. Like So council and then... So it's so actually So the chances of the council and the war possible. being that close though... Are crazy. That means the council's at the very bottom of it's, the third stack, and the war was at the very top of the board. It's fourth. entirely possible, depending on how you shuffle the deck, uh, so, that you could that could happen. So um, now we have to do end game scoring. Yeah, now we have to go it, into it war. Ends the game. So wow. So I'm ahead of you. Oh my god. So I get ten points. You that's, get five. That's oh my. Uh, I had the fewest spells. I had the few spells. Wait, how many spells do you have? I don't have any. You didn't have any spells? No, you have two. So oh I get another five. So we're going to go through artifacts are not worth anything because they get you treasures, so these are worthless. Villagers, I'm already ahead of that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's where those so points I have come two, in. So I have two shields. Which gives you six points. Yeah, for sure. I have four shields, which gives me 15. You have four? Four gives you, yeah, 15. And then weapons. weapons. I have four weapons. I have zero. You took them from so me. So I get 20. Okay. Should we add up the points? Um, Sure. I don't think it's going to matter. I think you absolutely destroyed me. I think I did. I think you absolutely destroyed me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 points? Yeah, 35. What'd you have? Oh, wait, I do have... No, I have 40 points. 85. 85 to 40? Yeah. That's rough. That's crazy. You just called my bluffs every time. Like, I was offering you things that I didn't think that you wanted. And, like... It's not about what I want. Well, like, I was trying to use your tableau and, like, try to figure out... Like, exactly what James just said. James says that you want to use their tableau against them. And like, if you had two artifacts, offer you an artifact and like try to entice you. I was trying to use your tableau and you just every time Cause I wasn't paying it. attention to my tableau. I was paying attention to what you were offering and being like, why would he offer me that? Why Crazy. would he offer me that? Crazy. So if you are a fan of bluffing type games, especially in larger parties, mm -hmm. this is absolutely no brainer in my mm -hmm. opinion. And this has nothing to do Hundred percent has nothing to do with James Druid City Games. We are not affiliated with Druid City Games. No, you're not. We are the board game spotlight. I still put my uh, my stamp of approval on this game. It is so much it's fun. Good. Even when you get raffle stomped and you just get absolutely destroyed, I still have fun like playing and trying to bluff the game. And it honestly does play better at two players, though. I mean, at more than two players. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, more... four or five players, that's the sweet spot for this game, in yes. my opinion. Two players is not bad. I still enjoy it, mm -hmm. but I'm but probably... But it is more fun when you can trade back and forth with more people. Correct. When you're not getting crushed by the same person over and over again, it's a little bit better when you can try to figure out who you want to uh, to trade with. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I, I still really like the game. Yeah. Um, it's delivering, fulfilling, I believe, now. Mm-hmm. And I know they have them in the warehouse, but they're not selling them at Pack South. Um, but they should be fulfilling pretty soon. James, in the comments, you can probably let you know when it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> Dwight would know how to bluff. Um, is what Max says, Dwight would be a great bluffer. Uh, I feel like Dwight would do well at bluffing. I really thought I was going to do well, and then Lizzie just somehow pulled off this supernatural. I did not think I was going to do well. Uh, situation that I've literally never seen her do in her entire it's life. It's true. This is the first time I've won. Probably. I've never seen you do that before. I'm impressed. He's actually shocked right now. You can't tell it, but he's like... It's true. I don't even know what to think. There's going to be a discussion know, after the cameras go off. How did with... you do that? Are you cheating? Did <laughs> oh, you stack the deck? <laughs> There's going to be significant 
conversation after this live stream happens <laughs> about what the heck just happened. Anyways, thank you so much. Um, yeah, James is waiting for backers to get mm -hmm. the game, which is awesome. Yes. I totally, I like when... Approve, yes. I like when publishers do that. Mm -hmm. um, and once those start shipping, he says, they'll be out uh, on the web store, probably get it in distribution all over the place. So yeah. that is how you play Guardian's Call. Again, it is a very quick affair for two players. Mm -hmm. Pretty quick uh, lightning type mm -hmm. game. Yeah, you, uh, not stack the deck, but you stage it for different players. That's so true. We had 10 of each type of card in the deck. Yes. Uh, with more players, you're going to have 15 or 20 cards of each type. So the de the deck will get bigger, so the game will be slightly longer. Right, 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 right. And that's actually a good point. You can actually try to card count. Mm -hmm. um, like you have four weapons and four shields, which means there's only six of each type. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding two shields in my hand, which means there's only two other shields in the deck somewhere. Or no, four other. It's a lot of work, other. though. It is a lot of work, but if a player wants to card count, you totally can. Um, that's definitely a thing that you could do. Yeah, but if I'm drawing off the top of the deck, you have no idea what I'm drawing, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dawson wants to know if that if he should tell everyone about the third camera showing. Is this like that poker situation where you know they got their poker cards and they like can lift them up, and Lizzie's got a camera hiding, and if she's it was, it'd be Derek because he's the one who does all the techie stuff. <laughs> That's not my job. You calling me a cheater? No, I'm just saying that if one of us was to cheat, it would be you. Oh man, that's fun. That's fun. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we had a lot of fun with yes. this one, and if you're at Pack South. Drop by Skybound Booth. I'll play teach you it how to weekend. play it. And uh, that's all we have. Um, we're traveling to Chicago tomorrow. And we will have a number of uh, live streams next week. Mm -hmm. uh, Promo Paradise is still live Ooh. on Kickstarter. So if you're looking for that, go keep up with our updates. We've got a lot of really neat things going on. And we're also spoiling a bunch of stuff, uh, new stuff. So there's that. So we will see you later. All right. See you, everybody. <laughs>